In order to create a new blank page in iWeb, the easiest thing to do is to be in iWeb. So I click on iWeb and now we go up here to File and it will ask us we want to make a new page. So we're going to come down here at the bottom and click on a blank page. And that's what we have. Now in order to take and get everything out of it and put what you want into it, you have to delete uh, number one the text box. So by clicking it on and hitting delete, that'll take care of that. And also this line just by hitting delete and cl clicking it on and deleting it. Now in order to delete the videos in the blank, what we have to do is go into the inspector. Okay, and come over here to uh, the page layout for iWeb. Okay, where it says include page in navigation menu. Right now it's automatically checked. We want to uncheck this. And also un uncheck the display navigation menu because we're going to take and create our own navigation for this. Okay, long as we're here, it's really important to understand the layout of our page too. And this is a good place to take and decide what we want to do and how big we want to have the page itself. Okay, the current width of the, of the stage itself of where the content is going to be located is actually 700 pixels. Well, what I like to do is I like to make them approximately 1,000 pixels. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take and add 1,000 pixels. To that. Okay, long as we're here too, let's take and just so we can take and see what uh, the color right now it's set for white. But the thing is, we could take and make that, um, you know, let's make it this color here for now, just a little green. This here is the 1000 pixels, and this is how large it's going to be. Now, the thing is, we want to take and also have the browser black background, which includes this all this area on the outside here. And that there is going to be the size that's larger than the thousand pixels. And I say thousand pixels because in order to get on most uh, browsers, it's good to have something that's a thousand pixels or less. Uh, many uh, webmasters use uh, 700 or smaller in order to gain in order to gain access to older type of uh, browsers and computers. Okay, we're going to put a fill in here right now. I'm going to select one that I already have. Okay, so that's our fill for the outside for the browser itself. Now at the top I want to take and put some padding up on the top. So the thing is what we do is come in here and I'm going to put in 50 pixels and see what that does. Oh it adds a little bit. Now the bottom to me is a little bit eh, too big but let's take and do this. Let's make the top and bottom padding 100 pixels. Okay. Okay so we have it sort of even now. Now what we do is have 100 pixels on the top and 100 pixels on the bottom. So the thing is that there is going to demand the size every time it goes into a, a browser. The pixel count will be the same and also the width of our content area will always be a thousand. But depending upon the size of the screen of the person that they're watching or that they're looking at our content, the outside area here will vary accordingly. This is how we create a new page and also the background uh, page color and also the browser background fill color.